Yeah, yeah that's. Oh, oh, I just heard myself. The earphones just suddenly came out. <laughs> okay, so I do you remember this kind of stuff like solid circle, empty circle? Let's make that solid circle even bigger. Yeah, and then you got a number line, and it says some numbers. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, zero. Does that mean anything to you? That number line thing we ju I just drew? Is it that it's more than one? So let's say, it let's say this is x, right? So, yeah. um, more than one. Okay, I'm going to write that, yeah. And less than or equal to. Oh, okay, you remember something. It's the other way around. Oh. <laughs> okay, solid means like, okay, empty means like you're not allowed inside the circle and the circle stops at 5, right? You're not allowed inside the circle, that means you're not allowed to be equal to 5. But this is solid, yeah, this stuff is solid, you're allowed in there. So you're allowed to be 1, that's why it's equal to 1. Does it make any sense? Okay. Yeah, they, yeah. When they make these things up, they try to, they don't try to think, okay, let's, how, how hard are we going to, you know when people use math, they ma use it for real life, yeah? And they, they don't go, okay, we're going to make a math question, make it really difficult. They try to make it easy, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it should make sense when you're doing it. And that's it, that's very easy. Oh, okay, one thing I didn't say, I mean, uh, okay, we could do more about this, we could, let's, let's rub that one out. And let's do this. That is an arrow, but it kind of especially stop at four. Yeah, but I did a bit roughly. Let's do it more neatly, like that. So it's kind of just above four. What does that mean? Um. And this is about x again, because it's x there. Yeah. More than or equal to one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why it stopped at four actually. I can't remember how they did it because this is foundation. I keep forgetting some foundation stuff. Uh, but I think it could possibly, I think I've seen it once somewhere in a high level paper, so when I say foundation, it's mostly foundation, but one in a mil once in a million years it turns out to be on a higher paper, I'm just trying to remember, yeah, 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 sorry, this arrow just goes on forever like that, there's no specific place where it stops. Okay, so that's it really, easy peasy. Wait, you know the first one? The first one, yeah, okay, let's do it like the first one, I don't know, something like that, yeah? No, the, right, what was the, do you have to write x equals? No, it was kind of x equals, didn't you see what I wrote? I wrote this thing. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I mean the first one went, oh, do you have to put x in the middle? Yeah, x is between those things, yeah. It's two inequalities in one, those kind of things, isn't it? It's bigger than, and it's less than, that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah? Cool. I think. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you make this a higher question? Wait a second. Is this GCSE? Okay, I'm going to say it very quickly, just in case it's kind of slightly over the top. It's not exactly hard. What I'm about to say, right? So you got this inequality. Let me write that inequality again, actually. So you got x's like that, but we also know x has to be bigger than two. Yeah, just like there's just two facts about x. Yeah, x represents I don't know how much money you spend or something. Yeah, for some yeah. in a supermarket on a certain day and all that boring stuff. Yeah, so x is bigger than two looks like woohoo, just forever, right? Okay. Okay. But how do you, so you know these two facts about x? So, but they both have to be true together. Yeah. How do you make both of them true? I'm just going to tell you straight away because I want to speed through it because it might not come up. It's when they overlap, when they make sense, right? When they're both true is when they both are true, when both lines are true, when they're both overlapping. So basically, it's like how do you write those two together? Well, first of all, you, you know this x is bigger than 2. If you want to make it one inequality, you can turn it around. You can say that is to, you know what I mean? Yeah. X, and then it's in the same direction as that, and then you can say in one go, 2x for job done. Do you know what I'm saying? 
sort of. Yeah, it's like me putting another circle there above two, and so this is the only bit. If I change color, make it maybe it'll be better like that. That's the rubbish color. It's the same color. Even it's kind of uh, highlight. Even that's making it even really ugly. Okay, but do you get it? X is between two and four. That's what the pictures are saying. Well, that's where they overlap. No, maybe. Do you roughly get it? It overlaps. That's when the yeah overlaps. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it. Maybe we're getting too much. Okay, so.